I'll see if I can dodge the elite guard again. And I'll see if I can actually get to that bonfire. If I can't... Some bonfires aren't walkable too, which is a bit annoying. Um, so if I can't get to it... Because there's Anna Orlando, there's... Yeah, the Anna Orlando one should be fine. Oh, don't... Really? He's... Mm. He's stuck there waiting for me. Game. Are you for real? Are you for real? Is there really any need for that? I have to fight someone either way. Because there's a freaking silver knight here. No, no. Do not even think about it. Do not even think about it. Do not even. Get those thoughts out of your head. Run, 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 run. Whoa, that was close. Oh, that was close as well. I will happily uh, escape you. Oh my god, they're actually following me. No. Lift, please be there. Oh, thank god. Up, up, uppies. Thank you. Did not want that. Okay. Bonfire. Um, let's warp. Right. An Orlando? Dark Moon 2? I think An Orlando is probably the best one. I'll be able to show you guys a little bit of uh, Anna Londo in that session you didn't see, though. Ah. Yes, this is the bonfire I was thinking of. So, this fire keep has a really cool voice. Hmm. You have made it back. Very well. Go ahead. You may rest here. Even an undead requires repose. I love that voice. I don't want you to reinforce the SS Plus because I've got no souls. I could kill you for one, but I'm not going to kill fire keepers. I'm not a monster. Right, so yeah, this is the bonfire that you didn't see in the session that I did. Um, basically, after defeating the Iron Golem, you come through there where those big guys are. You fight them. You know, the big guys outside the mansion. Same sort of enemies. And then there's your first bonfire. So, I may as well show you this bit, because you haven't seen it yet. You won't be able to see the um, gargoyles that attacked me, but you'll be able to see some stuff. So there's a lift here. Which takes a while to come up. I've got to be careful about being impatient with these. We all know what happened last time. And then you go down the spiry staircase and you will come out here. This is where you fight the gargoyle, so there's one waiting there. Oh god, that lift is so scary. If you go down there, that's where you find your demon titanite. And then here is where you face the gargoyle, so there's one waiting for you. And it lunges at you. And then, as you're fighting that one, or when you get to this bit, another gargoyle comes out of nowhere and tries to gank you. And then, up that way, is, um, up that way is the mansion. So, now you know how we got there, sort of. And then if you go down this way, this leads you to another little room. So there is a room above this room where you're fighting on some beams and you're fighting Peyton Guardians. I don't think you guys have seen them. Um, and yeah, basically went through that bit to... 
What did I do it for? I think I did it to turn this mechanism around, but it's nicely positioned for this time. And in here there is a room for the Painted Guardians. Now, I'm just wondering if I should maybe think about using fire arrows, or just use normal arrows. The aiming is a bit screwy. Hi, Page Guardian, come after me. So these guys aren't hard necessarily. Oh, you know. Oh, oh god, what? They can backstab now? So here's me saying, oh, they're not hard. They're actually incredibly dangerous. Come on. Take that. 150 souls apiece for him. Yeah, I need to be a little bit careful because these guys can be a little bit tricky because they work together. They work together. Na, na, na. I don't know what song I was singing there. Oh, right in the head. Right in the head. You did not like that, did you, Painted Guardian? Come on, then. Take me on. Nice try. Nice try again. Let me heal there, dude. Just one hit to kill them, it seems. Nice. There's a few more around here. And you have to go through this place pretty methodically. But we're going to kill them all. Oh, God. I did not see you, friend. Get back here. There's uh, some stuff on that guy. Ah! Put me with a throwing knife. Nice. So if you get a good shot off on them, very nice, nice. If you get a good shot off on them, kill them in one hit, I can probably deal with these guys now. Oh god, okay, I've got to be a little bit careful. Okay. In that chest... Is that a chest? Oh yeah, the body there, rather, um, is where you find some iron... That black iron stuff that you saw in my inventory. Okay. So here we have a painting, and I have to say, it's a pretty nice painting, isn't it? Now, you need a key for this. So if we just look at our items, and we look in our keys, you'll see that we have the Peculiar Doll. Oh, by the way, right kindling, you can now kindle bonfires up to 20 Estus. But we'll probably just do that for the difficult areas. But anyway, Peculiar Doll. So, you remember where we picked that up from? We pick it up from the Northern Undead Asylum after you defeat the first Black Knight. So this should work. Pretty impressive painting, I have to say. Alright, 
I was led to believe that we were playing Dark Souls, not Super Mario 64. And here we are in the painted world of Aramaeus. And look at this place. It looks so cool. All the footprints as well. Damn. Crunch, crunch, crunch on the snow. But wow. This place looks amazing. Don't think we can go this way. Ooh, not unless you're absolutely maverick you're jumping, and I can't be sure that, uh, that it's stable. So, if we head up this way... Oh, wow. This is a statue. Weird. Looks like a statue, interacts like a statue, but sounds like a body. And then here I believe there is a bonfire. Am I not seeing the bonfire? There's definitely a bonfire here. There it is. Lights the bonfire! Oh, you dicks. Okay. It's fine. Um, yeah, we'll kindle here as well. Use one of our humanities that we have accumulated. Didn't have to spend one there. How many humanity have we got now? We've got 14, so it wouldn't have been. Okay, how long are we going for? We're going for an hour and three. Ugh, I'm, I'm not sure if I want to start the next bit. Let's have a little look around and I'll make a decision. So yeah, a lot of hollows here. Ooh. And they get you 360 souls apiece. So, you know, these guys that were killing in one hit, you're able to get a buttload of souls off. Don't think we can go through there yet. Doesn't open from this side, so that's something we've got to open up. I think this is quite a big area. Screw it, let's do a bit more of it. Why not? Right, so here, I'm going to use arrows. And you want to go. Boop. And pick yourself up some more humanity. Nice. And then through here. Hmm. I'm just being. I'm being very meticulous here because I don't want to miss anything. So, okay. So we've gone through here, we've gone up here. For those of you who've been following this series for a while, you know that I can be quite meticulous. Oh. Because I try and find everything that's a bird. What? Alright, kill those guys. Another guy launching arrows at me. A bird out of nowhere. Right, and then behind here you've got those things. Now these, whoa, these are the guys I was worried about. And they're chasing me now. I want to get into my items. Uh, um, uh. All right, I'm going to go back here. I need to have my fire arrows ready. That's the moral of the story. I don't want them chasing me. I, I've forgotten how to play the game. Okay, let, let's just... I've forgotten how to play. Ah, that's why. Okay, I can use fire arrows now. Cool. There's a lot of hollow around here. No, that's a bad thing. You can get a lot of souls from them, so it's definitely worth... Kill them with fire, if you can. And yeah. There we go. 
So eight arrows to take them down. I wonder what a firebomb does to them. We've got a few of that. That is a massive fireball. Uh, maybe I should have thought about keeping the flame stone plate ring on me. Right, I'm going to try whoa, and go in with a firebomb. Hopefully that kills him in one hit. Didn't quite reach. Oh wow, I've wasted my resources so much there. No, that did not kill him. He's just going to keep... Screw it. You know what? This guy's just being an asshat now. Oh wow, he didn't toxic me. Nice. It's all probably night. Uh, hollow in here. That's not where I want to go next. There is a guy flinging arrows at me though. This is actually quite a difficult area. that again is it oh no 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 damn it okay that's fine I think it is a jump but it's been a bit of a, a tricky one there we go ah really how do we get to that then? Do I just have to jump right across? Seems like a bit of a, a, a bit of a, a long jump. I can't get to it. Why can't I get to it? I'm struggling way too much with this jump. Ah, that's why. Ah, nearly. I will get there. I will get in there. I don't know what's going on down there. Leave it for now. Yeah, these things are making some pretty alarming noises. Oh wow, these rats are a bit tougher as well. Hello, tough rat. You don't die easy. It's all brave warrior, nice. And that gives you an idea of what level this area is. So, you remember in the catacombs when we were in Proud Knight and Dame Soldier. That gives you an idea of the level of that area as well. So this area, I think we are maybe a little over leveled for it, but not massively. And now I can get there. It's really annoying me because I know I can do it. And I feel like you should be able to jump over there, but because this game isn't built platforming from soft, you can't do that. So there must be a way of getting to that. I should probably, though, put the blooming purple moss on just in case I get hit with uh, something. I should be able to reach that, but I can't. Okay, that's fine. Um, I think that's everything there, though. Now, is there a thing that I need to shoot down as well? Or have I done that? I'm completely lost. Okay, you know what I'm going to do, guys? We've been going for quite a while. And I spent eight. Oh, well, there you go, I spent ages doing that. We'll carry on, it's fine. Right, so there's an item there. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and kill this asshat first. Oh, I didn't notice you guys. 
Oh god, it's these things. Right, I'm just going to go for it. Oh god. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. Rats. I can kill rats, that's fine. I didn't want to end up down here though, but I think I'm kind of stuck down here now. Uh, okay, yeah, we'll end it there then guys. Did a little bit. Um, but yeah. Didn't notice those guys behind me. And we have uh, had our first death in the painted world of Aramaeus. This beautiful looking area, which is actually quite punishing. Alright, that's fine. Though. We're fine. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a little bit of preparation here. I think um, we need a better ring. And it's the ring that I ditched, which I shouldn't have done. So, let's go into Bottomless Box. Let's get this ring. I'm going to use that next time, I think. Because it will give me a little bit better chance against those guys who throw fire at you. Those hollow are very difficult, though, but I just... Wow. <laughs> it was just a series of unfortunate events that led to my death there. And I wasted a lot of fire bombs as well, which I'm a bit annoyed about, to be honest. I think what we're going to do is put these in order of how we shall need them. I'll use the last fire bomb up somewhere, and I think the divine blasting might be a good thing as well. If that gets rid of all your nasty status effects and things like that. And there we go. But I think that's what we're going to leave for today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed these episodes, please don't forget to leave your likes, your shares, your comments. That really would help me out a lot. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel or subscribe if you're new. And if you haven't already, follow me on Twitter, where you'll be able to keep up with everything that happens on the channel, as well as get involved in a bit of banter. And until next time, guys. Goodbye. Thanks for watching, and once again, I'm still in disbelief. How was Pinwheel a boss?